Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. In this video, we are going to learn about arrays and why we need arrays in programming. So let's start by understanding what are arrays. If we talk about the definition, arrays are collection or group of similar things. For example, if you have collection of books, you call it array of books. Or you can have array of glasses and so on. So similarly, in programming, you have arrays of numbers, characters, etc. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose you want to buy 10 books from a bookstore. Will you go to the bookstore and buy one book, come back home again and go for another book? You won't go 10 times for 10 books, right? Instead, you will take a bag, put them all in a bag and then read one by one when you want. Now this bag is an array and we need a bag to carry, store and access books. Similarly, in programming, we need array to store, access and search similar elements. Let's see how. Suppose we have five variables as such and we need to perform operations on them together. Now in this case, creating five variables for each will be unnecessary and it will take unnecessary time and code. Imagine if you have 500 variables, it will be almost impractical to create so many variables and that is the reason we store them together in an array. If you store them in an array, it is very easy to access elements by their index. Index, as you can see here, starts from 0 up to the size of array minus 1. So for array of size 5, index will go from 0 to 4. And for example, if you want to access second element, it will be at index 1, third at index 2, and so on. One more use of array is, if you want to search a particular element amongst many elements, it becomes easy. Now imagine if you put 10 different books at 10 different locations, will you be easily able to search it? But if you keep all in one bag, you can search and access books easily. Similarly, rather than taking separate variables, if you store them in an array, searching and accessing becomes easy. Now obviously there are other alternatives to the array, but those we will see in later videos. Now remember two things about array. First. Arrays have a fixed size. That is, if you define array of size 5 and if you try to put the 6th variable, it is not going to happen. Or if you try to access the 6th element, it will throw an exception. So arrays have fixed size. Second thing is that array can only have similar data types. You cannot add characters in integer array. For example, if you have numbers from 1 to 5, this is an integer array. You cannot add character in this. You have to have a different array for characters. So how to initialize, define array, etc. we'll be seeing in the next video. But I hope you understood the concepts of array and why you need arrays. So let's summarize this once. So arrays are collection of similar things. So they can have only similar data types. You cannot have characters in integer array or vice versa or any other type in the integer array. Arrays are of fixed size and if you have Define a size of any array as 5, you cannot add the 6th element in it. Arrays can be single dimensional or multi dimensional. In this video, we have understood single dimensional. Multi dimensional we'll study in the upcoming videos. We need arrays so that we can store, search, and access similar types of data efficiently. Now, we also are going to speak about the alternatives to the array, but arrays are better than defining a lot of variables. One example of array can be a software that stores the search results of a user. For example, if you want to develop a functionality wherein the last 10 searches of the user are to be stored, you can use an array to store that. So in similar ways, if you want to manipulate or perform operations on a lot of numbers, you can store them in array and use it and the numbers can be accessed, modified or deleted easily. So this is the basic use of array. How to initialize and use array in programming we'll see in the next video. So until then stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. Thank you.